The voice of the gospel. Whatever it takes. We'll do it. But this gospel will flood nations. Oh yes. Yes. Hallelujah. Second Peter three eighteen. Today I'm gonna be embarking on salvation. We must know and We have did over forty parts. Today is part forty-one. <laughs> and we are going. Yes, shout I hear. Yeah. Seriously. Yes, sir. Praise the Lord. Why did Jesus die? Let me tell you. Some of us have believed a historic gospel. Tell neighbor a historic gospel. When you say Jesus died for me, that history. Past tense. Jesus. That is history. The gospel is not history. Because if you ask the average Christian, speak about Jesus. They are going to say three lines. Jesus died for me. We have, we, we, we know salvation to be a past tense. Died. Buried. Resurrected. Past tense. Anytime you preach a gospel that says, Jesus died. Jesus resurrected. Yeah. That is history. But every time you present what happened in that death, then you're preaching revelation. You are not preaching history. If you present what happened in the burial, then that's the gospel. Jesus died, Abraham died, Lazarus died, many people died. Let me tell you when you say that Jesus resurrected. Abraham resurrected. Moses resurrected. Don't you know? When Jesus resurrected, all them saints resurrected with him. Hmm? So, if he resurrected, others resurrected too. <laughs> oh God, we so uh, that's why this question we're going to be answering tonight. You need to be careful. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hey, Second Peter three eighteen. The Bible says, but grow in grace. Tell neighbor, grow in grace. These were the last words of Peter. And for your information, everyone saves best for the last. The, the last words someone, someone tells you. Most especially, they are the special ones. They are the ones that this, are of value. This was the last sentence of Peter to the church. <laughs> and he looked at me and you and the people that were there. He said, oh God, you need to grow. And the only space to grow in is in grace. That means grace is like a place where inside anyone who anyone who enters there he will find growth let me tell you that means minus the grace of God equals no spirituality let, let me repeat myself again minus the grace of God equals no spirituality 
Peter said, Petro yavuze, the only thing that can bring spiritual growth to a church it is grace. What is this grace? And. This and. In the Greek, in the Greek, in the Greek, and means kai. Kai is used two ways. It, it is used to join two things. Like Fred, Fred and Precious. Fred and Precious. Two different things. But in Greek, the word and most times, it, it is used as a further explanation. Like in Greek, they can say, Fred, Fred and the brother of Precious. Fred ni musaza wa Precious. Fred, Fred is Fred and he's still the brother to Precious. Fred is Fred, he is the Precious. So this word and it is not it is not used to make them join together. Rather, it is used to explain right. who Fred is right. to Precious. So this word and here, here it, is hano, it is a further explanation. It is a further explanation. Are we together? That means we can replace and with. That means we can replace and with other words that are explanatory. Tell your neighbor, welcome to the Bible. It's okay. Praise the Lord. So let's go. Grow in grace. Which is the knowledge of our Lord Jesus Christ. Did you get it? Did you get it? This word and it is used to explain this grace. So the, the grace is the knowledge of Jesus Christ. So the knowledge of Jesus Christ is what is grace. That means what brings spiritual growth? Grace. And that grace is the knowledge of Jesus Christ. Huh? Minus this. Pray. How many prayers you want to pray? <laughs> Go on mountains. I'm a mountain guy. I go to mountains. But that does not bring spiritual growth. We're together. We're together. Praise the Lord. Yes, Hashem. So every time the knowledge of Jesus is projected to you spiritual growth happens. Like it's going to happen now. Alright. Alright. Good. Ephesians 1, 4 and verse 1, 4. Yeah, give me that verse. Two reasons why Christ died. Let me first say why he didn't, what we think some of us think there were two vegetarians that was Adam and Eve so they were in the garden of Eden they were doing real fine and God was doing real fine with them until the day they ate God's apple. <laughs> if, if, you, if I've read Christ revealed, you understand. So we think when they ate God's apple, apple, you understand? No wonder apple has a. I think they're trying to. I think they're trying to bring that revelation. <laughs> No, no offense. I'm just joking. Praise the Lord. Amen. So we think after they ate God's apple, God started boiling in anger. <laughs> he said, you eat my apple, you go pay for it. My apple, my... apple you cannot, it's not there. You must die. Then God became angry. 
then we think Jesus came no, no, to settle that anger. He has come to rescue us from the wrath of Man. Christ, of God. Era is not there. Praise the Lord. Yes, because this Jesus Kuko uyu Yesu is God. Ni mana. <laughs> this Jesus uyu Yesu is God. Ni mana. Mm, wait for that book. Praise the Lord. Yes, Hashim. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God who has never been angry. Yesu, I, mana ni so whatever brought Jesus Ichinu chose was not to settle something in God. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. So, two things. Why did Jesus die? Give me that scripture. Ephesians 1 verse 4. I think we're done. Praise the Lord. Yes. Just as he chose us in him. Tell neighbor you didn't choose God. Tell neighbor you didn't choose God. I, 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 you didn't choose God. I think in the future you should be called election. We, we, didn't, we didn't choose God. We, we, chose, we chose God's choice of us. In the future. So he chose us in him. Before the foundations of the world. Oh boy. That. We should be holy. Before you were born. Before you were what? He chose you in him. That you be holy. Let me tell you. If you think holiness has something to do with sin. You're wrong. Because before the foundation of the world, there was no sin. Yet there was holiness. So holiness is not the opposite of sin. Shout Amen. Praise the Lord. Yes. Paul is saying the plan of God before Adam came. Next line, verse 5. Then the Bible says, the Bible says, verse 5. Yes. Verse 5. Have the, this is the point. Why did Jesus die? Having predestined us to the adoptions as sons by Jesus Christ. This is the point. Before creation happened, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit reign in a conversation. Let us create man in our likeness. In our what? That, uh, to be like us in that our likeness. Means, the first reason man was going to be created in the image of God eh? was first because God decided to be it so. Eh? So, God, the, we call it the triune God, God, Father, Son, and the Holy Ghost. They sat in a conversation and they decided that we are going to create man and what makes us us what makes us us we are going to share it with them let me, let me go back God decided that he's going to create man huh? Mm -hmm. And whatever makes him him. No, no, it's man I chose. He's going to share it with this man. That's why he says he will create him in our, in in our, our image. image. Yeah. Question. How was this thing going to happen? Do you think when Adam was created? Was created in the image of God. No. Nah. The image of God is one. One. 
It's not Adam. Adam. It is Jesus. Yesu Christo. You're doubting. You're doubting. You're doubting. Colossians 1.15. The, the Bible says, says he is the image of the invisible God. Oh boy. Jesus Christ is the image of the first of all. Give me that verse. God is invisible. Are we together? But when Jesus arrived, he gave visibility to the invisible God. Wait. That means there are things that are in God that are invisible. Before Jesus came, there are things that were invisible about God. But when Jesus arrived, everything that was invisible in God was made visible in him. If you think God is angry, and you think that anger is in God, you should first examine Jesus. Because if anger is in God, the role of Jesus is that he will bring that anger to visibility. Are we together? Whatever is in Christ that is invisible, it is revealed he in Christ. is the image of the invisible. There is no other God minus Jesus. Are we together? Yes, sir. That means when God said, let us create man in our image. <laughs> and the image of God is Jesus. In other words, he was saying, let us create man in in Christ. Because when man enters Christ, he will become a sharer of what we are. Huh? Why did Jesus arrive on this planet? For this mission. To make humanity partake of divinity. So that he can share divinity with humanity. But there was another problem. Sin. Sin. Sin came in the equation. First Peter 2.24 I know we love this verse. Let me help Praise you. Praise the Lord. Let me help you. Praise the Lord. The Bible says he bore he bore our sins in his body. Our sins. No one is allowed to carry their sin. He's the one that carried it for you for today. On a tree. Kujiti. That means the topic here is sin. Because we know that we know sin. We know, we know. I'm telling you. There was a problem called sin. How did God solve it? By putting our sins on a man. Put him on a tree. Wait. Wait. That we, we being dead to sins, might live for righteousness. By whose stripes you were healed. If you think healing here is healing of headache, 
you must you must you must pause again because Jesus did not first go to the cross to heal headaches before he went on the cross he was healing headaches he was he was already healing blind Bartimaeus whatever healing here is he is no malaria we good the context is sin so sin was the problem how did God solve it by healing wait 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 so to God Kumana sin ichaha is not solved by punishing it is solved by healing that means to god kumana sin ichaha is a medical term ni jambo ry'ubuganga because Kumeda, what was offered to see was a medical answer. Healing. Are we together? Are we together? Are we together? To God, Kumana, sin ichaha, is a disease. You're doubting? Luke 5 and verse 30. Luke 5 and verse 30. We're ending. We, I told you that we think we know the sin, what it is. Yes, sir. The scribes. Yes. Why do you eat with and drink with these sinners? They were asking Jesus. You know what Jesus answered them? The next line. The Bible says, Jesus Anna said, those who are well, they don't need a physician, a doctor. But those who are sick, to Jesus, what you call sinners, he sees them as sick people. So if Jesus sees sinners as sick, whatever they are sick of is called a disease. Uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm. You are seeing somebody go smoke, fornicate with them girls and <laughs> In the eyes of us, no, 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 kick him in the prison. No. In the eyes of God, I'm seeing as someone who is sick of malaria. You know, someone who is sick of malaria, typhoid, the, the, the sickness of typhoid. Someone who is sick of um, HIV. Why? Someone who is really sick. You know someone who is sick. You know you can you, Kumana, to God. A sinner is like that person who is so diseased with HIV or malaria. So what the man of HIV needs is not a beating. What? 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 We together? That means sin according to Jesus is a disease. Do you know that we don't understand sin unless we first understand it through the Christological lens? Let, 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 let me tell you this. Sin is understood in Christ. When Jesus explained sin, he didn't explain it as a behavior. He explained it as a disease. According to Jesus, sin is not a behavior to be changed. Sin is a disease to be healed. 
We together? Turi kumwe. Turi kumwe. Hope you know sin didn't come from Satan that came from Muziko icya kitavuye kuri Satan cyangwa ku Mana. Hope you know that. Ibyo byo murabizi. If you don't know that go and check the summons. Nima mutabizi mugene musubere za nyigisho twigize. Sin didn't arrive from anywhere. When man sinned. Igihe umuntu yakoze icyaha. Sin started to damage. Icyaha cyatangiye kwangiza umuntu. Kiramwangiza. Yeah, damage him. Kiramwangiza. Destroyed him. Kiramwangiza. Destroyed him. It destroyed him. I don't have time to go to verses. But you can read Genesis 6 verse 5. Isaiah 6 verse 1. So when Jesus took on humanity. The time he wore this body. You guys learning something? In salvation. Humanity was sick. What was it sick of? Sin. I know you don't want to say it. Sin is a disease. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Sin is humanity a disease. was sick. Since humanity was sick, the answer was medicine. Who was going to offer that medicine? God. Huh? That means in salvation. God is not a, a judge. I know. The way we understand salvation, we feel like we have a judgment. So we, we enter into the court, God is there. When they were going to give us a prisonment for life, yes, Christ stood in front. Mm -mm -mm -mm. No. Salvation cannot be understood in a courtroom. If, if salvation is about, mm -hmm. is about sin and disease, <laughs> it's going to be understood in the hospital. So in salvation. Humanity is sick. God is the doctor. Huh? Mm. Huh? Mm. How is God going to offer the medicine? Normally, usually, when we go to the hospital, the, the, the doctor gives us the medicine. And then, he stays like that. But the way God is, he does not give <laughs> Rather, what he gives, <laughs> he gives himself. He does not give you what's <laughs> out of him. He gives himself to you. <laughs> Whatever he gives, <laughs> it comes with his nature. We're together. <laughs> but whatever man gives, <laughs> yeah, it is separated from him. Praise the Lord. So, in salvation, so, God the doctor. <laughs> Decided to be the medicine. Oh, We're together. We're together. So when Christ put on a body, yes, when Christ took on a body, that was the day the doctor decided to become the medicine. And for the medicine to work, you first drink it. It, you, you, it enters a body that is diseased. Right? 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 Now, humanity was sick. Humanity was sick. So, for it to be healed, it, it needed to drink the medicine. The medicine had to enter the body. The body of Jesus represented all of humanity. Everyone who has this body who lived who are living and those to come all of them Jesus carried them in his body as diseased people. Are we together? Amen. So when God entered a human body, there is a way the medicine enters a sick person. Salvation began. Healing began. 
began. Salvation didn't begin at the cross. Began when Jesus was born. <laughs> you guys are getting it. Praise the Lord. The time, the time Simon took the baby in his hands, Luke 231. God, you can let your servant depart. You know why? My eyes have seen salvation. Ah! <laughs> salvation began when Jesus was born. So we want to begin salvation from the cross. The problem we want to begin But if it was known for Bethlehem, it wouldn't be for Calvary. There is no Calvary without Bethlehem. Praise the Lord. So when Jesus put on a human body, <laughs> medicine had entered humanity. Healing had begun. Divinity entered humanity. Divinity started to, to burn humanity. Praise the Lord. Mm -hmm. The glory of God started to remove the evilness, the low deeds of humanity. Healing. Praise the Lord. And because man was so damaged, he did not need a repair. Sin had killed humanity. So that means humanity needed to be recreated. Ah? Mm. Ah? Mm. Are we together? Are we together? Are we together? So who is Jesus Christ? Yesu Christo ninde. When Jesus Christ wears a body, Iyo Yesu Christo yamba yumobiri. He's wearing all of humanity past present and future. We good? We good? Praise the Lord. So whatever is going to happen to him, it is going to happen to humanity. Because all of humanity is represented in his humanity. <laughs> Paul saw on the cross, he was a, I was crucified with him. How? Uh, tell me, how were you crucified? Were you there? Because you were crucified with him even before you were born. <laughs> before you believed. Because Paul knew what is called Christology. When he saw the body of Jesus. Saw himself represented. The body of Christ means. Whatever has a body. It is connected to that body. What's going to happen to Jesus? It will happen to everyone who wants a body. They like it or not. So when Jesus went on the cross. It was all of humanity that were going on the cross. I know when you see that cross, you see Jesus. See humanity in him. Oh my God. Oh my God. The thing that was a heavy burden to Jesus, it was not the canes. No, he was carrying the world. He went on the cross. Humanity. Remember, the reason why Jesus came was because God needed to share himself with humanity. So he wanted to have sons through Jesus Christ. Oh boy. So Jesus went on the cross with a fallen humanity. Humanity in sin. He went on the cross. 
No, when he went on the cross, we nailed him. Nailed him. Nailed him. It was not the devil. I will tell you the greatest tragedy that happened in human history. God became a man and man killed him. Even till now, when man is given an opportunity, he will still kill God. We good? Yeah, if you're new, you are new. Of course. When he was on the when he was on the cross, I was in him. You were in him. Your children were in him. Your wife, your husband. All of them we were in his body. His body represented us. So when he was nailed, when he was nailed, Abamge. Abamge. Our old man. Umunu uh, watu watera. You know old man. Umunu watu watera. Abanoma gatara tu gatana tu. Is not your funny behavior. Umunu watu watera na gani ni tuare ya we mibi ya chera. Hope you know that. The check ibjamu easy. Kamere azut. No, old man is not your. The flesh has come carnality. Old man. Umunu watu watera. Knowing this. Can't it to many things. Our old man. You that, that our old man. If you say He is our. We are connected to him. For your information, our old man is a man. Old man. 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 There is a person all of us we are linked to. And that man had all of us. When he sinned, his sin affected us. It affected humanity. So humanity was diseased. Alright? So when Jesus was on the cross, he took the fallen man Nailed him on the cross. So our old man was crucified with him. You don't need to crucify your old man. The crucifixion of the old man. It is a knowing this knowledge. You need to know <laughs> know that he is crucified. After we were crucified, Jesus died. Yesu You know what he died? Oh, I mean, Second Corinthians 5:14. The Bible says, "We judge like this." If one died, all died. Bose so, You might think I'm making nena. these things up. When Christ was dying, all of us. That means when you open the grave of Jesus, if you use these physical eyes, you see one dead person. But through the eyes of revelation, if one died, all died. All of humanity, past, present, and future, died. Tell your neighbor there is a time you died. When did Jesus die with a body? Yes. That body represented all of humanity. So there's a point we entered the grave. <laughs> you know what this means? The Bible says the wages of sin is death. That means when you sin, you must pay death, I mean pay sin the wages of death. Huh? Mm. So Jesus was made sin. Yes, So he had to pay sin. He died. 
turapfa amazingly we were in him as he was paying sin because when he died he had paid sin and we were in him that means you me your children have already paid their sins in the death of Jesus the last step you, do, you don't scare me with sin. I have paid for my sins in the death of Jesus Christ. Because in the death of Jesus Christ, I died. I told you, death of Jesus Christ is not history. Now, Amen. When he resurrected, <laughs> remember, man needed to be recreated. Where did man come from? From God. But how did he come on earth? How? God breathed into the ground. And man came off the ground. Ground biblically is the womb of humanity. Mm, that is where man comes Am I lying? Am I lying? So when Jesus entered the ground, he had entered into the womb that begat humanity. Thus he died. When he came back from that ground he recreated humanity man was created the second time you were humanity was recreated in the body of Jesus whatever was happening to Jesus was happening to all of humanity past present future So, yes, Christ Azuts. When Christ resurrected, the humanity he was wearing, no sin. It, it was immortality. Let me tell you. Let's celebrate no heri to zicharicho. After the resurrection. No, after the resurrection. No. After the resurrection, Numa. Numa. humanity is not in sin. I know. Jesus came, yes, we are, uh, took on fallen humanity. Humanity in sin. Went on the cross. Nailed it. Went on in the ground. And buried that kind of humanity. <laughs> when he resurrected, he resurrected with another humanity. Shout I here. All the things that were happening to Christ was happening to And the Bible says he went to heaven. What does that mean? When Christ, God came from heaven, he came as a spirit. We put on a body. When he went back, something has changed in heaven. Because God left heaven as a spirit. But this time around, he's not coming back to heaven as a spirit. He's coming to heaven with a body. A body. And that body represented all of you. Humanity past. Present. Future. For the first time. When Jesus was ascending. The dream of God was coming to pass. Where humanity has been made to be partakers of divinity. So humanity in Jesus went up to heaven. Oh my God! So when Jesus entered heaven, it is no longer the Trinity. Because in the Trinity, let me tell you, 
Jesus came, there was the Trinity. Jesus was a spirit. At this time, he went to heaven. He was with a human body. We can never call it the Trinity again. I don't know what name we can call it. But as long as I'm called. And a man with a human body is seated in the Trinity. Jesus right now in heaven has a human body. That human body represents you. So the Bible says we are seated how? In his humanity. Right now, we are in heaven. In the humanity of Christ. That means Jesus Christ. Huh? The Bible says Ephesians 1 uh, 4. One four. That through, through Jesus Christ, God will get sons. That means Jesus Christ, Jesus Christ is the reproductive system of God by which he got many sons. So when Jesus resurrected, God was giving birth to another humanity. Our role is to go to humanity. Tell them people I know you're smoking. I know you're clubbing. Clubbing. I know you're clubbing. But as long as Jesus Christ is concerned, he transformed you in his humanity. Your faith makes you partake of what you were made in him. Did you get that? Did you get that? Faith does not make us get, no, no, not for now, but it makes us partake, all right? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So heaven is not our destination. So is not our goal. Philippians 3.20 in the Mirror Bible. Our goal, our goal is to bring heaven right on this planet. Shout amen. The reason you're studying what you're studying. IT. IT. Finance. Finance. Accounting. Accounting. God wants to use you to enter that IT world and baptize it with this knowledge. Let me, let me end with this statement. Earth to God is as important as heaven. Our, oh my God, you're going to be in that scripture. So if you think God is going to burn this planet, good with you. The Bible says, heaven is not our Heaven is not our. Heaven is not our. I know, Fred. We say, "I want to boast in man." It's a good issue. Yara di kuwa ije Christo. He gave you heaven when you believed. Yakujanye yo. Actually, did not give you heaven. He put you there. He went you. When we are praying, he took you there. Ije turi gusenga. We are bringing heaven right here. Turi kuzani zuruhano. Yes, we are saying that we shall be able to. Jesus was praying that the show will be done. Stand on your feet. Here. That's the prayer. The reason you are here, my God, is not to get some good life. No, good life is good. You are here to baptize this world with heaven. Stop seeing your education as something separate from God. God is trying to use that education. So that you may enter that and fill it with the knowledge. Salvation. Let's pray. Let's pray. Let's pray. You're going to pray and say, Father, I'm available. Use me in my education.